100%. In fact, I thought it would have been a nice touch to have made Alex Salmond the president of Scotland. Uh, I think he would have liked that. You know? <laughs> I mean, I, I, and it's, it's not too late. Well, I think I think the, it'll be interesting. It's question and answer tomorrow, so I'll need to have a wee think if if I get opportunity to give it to, to ask a question. Well, you know, Kareem, if there was an opportunity, it might be worth asking what is their place uh, with the monarchy because uh, you know we feel that it could all go down the swanee uh, if the unionists say, "No, I want to stick with the crown." Yeah, I I think. But regarding with members in the party, I think they're quite split on that one. I know there's people that want a Republican like the Green Party, but I know there's other people that are... I, I think if they just accept early doors that a Republic yeah. is not happening, uh, you know, yeah. and certainly uh, you know, not at the moment, because it's going to lose 50% of the vote. There's nothing's going to split the vote more than people uh, cheeking up about the head of state's position. Yeah. And it shouldn't yeah. matter because it's an apolitical position. Yes. And, uh, you know, any first minister will need to swear their allegiance to the crown and will get their warrants, their, their, their papers, for operating uh -huh. as first minister, uh, you know, within the United Kingdom uh, from Her Majesty the Queen. Well, Scott, I think, I mean, I've said before, you've had um, uh, Ian Blackford has said that, that the monarchy will be going nowhere. It's not up for debate. It's not a question. There won't be a referendum on it whatsoever. The monarchy stays. And I think that's a, and that's the end of it. You will have, I think I spoke last week, there's a fraction just now really putting the boot in at the monarchy and trying to... Things. I don't think there's successful. no point in them putting the boot in because it's just going to turn the whole independence thing into toast and get it kicked <clears throat> into the long grass because <clears throat> we lost. I mean, the vote was very close to 50 yes. 50. Well, it's 55 45, and that yes. was without raising the whole thing about the monarchy. Had we been yeah. able to reassure uh, people that they don't need to be unionists. They can come and be part of an independent Scotland because the crown is going nowhere. Then I think you'd have seen a huge difference, and it would have been, you know, a win-win, a no-brainer. Well, I also thought to with that. The, um, I think there's a lot of scaremongering that's going on. My mum and dad are in Morocco at the moment on holiday again, um, doing a bit of business, etc. However, I just had a wee. A discussion with my mum there about the po possible referendum again. I, my mum's conservative um, and very unionist, and yes. the first thing she said was, "What about our pensions? Our pensions will be lost." I said, "That's a myth." That's and a that myth as well. So you really that you know they should have stood up. The um, the campaign should have stood up and said the yes campaign should have stood up and said a myth, a myth, a myth. Right? Yeah. And they should yeah. have had press because yeah. you had a certain socialist press that were going, This is the vow. If you follow yeah. the vow, you'll remain in Europe, etc., etc. Now, the vow was a complete fabrication. Yes. So well, you see, you that needs to be brought day, out. The next day, Cameron, when, when asked about this, there was very smug, walked away, and nothing was really done about it. And then I think. A lot of people in Scotland knew, oh, oh, what have we done? So, as I've said, from that day onwards, what's happening just now, what's happening within our society, everything that we're going through, this tough squeeze, people voted to be part of a Tory UK, Tory policies, Tory austerity. There's Brexit. You Brexit. can't make it any simpler. Yeah, Brexit as well. I mean, I've done a piece on Brexit. You'll see the video. Uh, we've probably <sighs> seen it. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. And you've still yeah. got halfwits coming on trying to defend Brexit because they yeah. know they voted. Like a guy last night, give it a rest, Scotty. You're as bad as the BBC. 
you know, and then he went on, he said, uh, I said, well, Scotland's subsidising uh, Westminster. Oh, I think you've got that wrong, Scotty. I think you'll find that Scotland gets far more from Westminster than it gives now. All this, I think you've got that wrong. Of course I've not got it wrong. Otherwise, I wouldn't say it. If I thought, ah, no, that's wrong, so I shan't be saying it. Yes. I think people uh, have to research into it more. They talk yes. about the Barnet formula. They talk about it as the GERS, the GERS system. Uh, and well, the things, Barnet uh, formula, uh, that needs to be in the bin. That's a nonsense. Because what yeah. that's saying is, give us all your money and we'll give you back some pocket money. Uh -huh. That's it, uh, yeah. You yeah. see? Uh, I mean, yeah. Joe Barnet 